The sinking of the Russian warship Moskva is an enormous loss and a giant embarrassment for Russia's military. Moskva was the flagship of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. Russia claims it sank as the result of an onboard fire, but U.S. officials now say they believe definitively that Ukrainian missiles, two of them, sank the ship. Ukrainian officials say a Russian airstrike on a target outside the capital, Kyiv, today was likely retaliation for the sinking. And commentators on Russian state television are expressing their anger at the sinking, calling for the bombing of Kyiv. The warship Moscow is absolutely a cause for war, 100 percent. It is our flagman. There is nothing to think about. There has to be a response, but what kind? We should bomb Kyiv. Then they won't come. That's what needs to be done. Much to discuss tonight with CNN contributor Jill Doherty. She's an adjunct professor at Georgetown University School of Foreign Service. And General Wesley Clark, he's the former NATO Supreme Allied Commander. He's a senior fellow at UCLA Berkel Center. Uh, great to have you both on. Jill, if I could begin with you, it, it, it's notable here, right, because the official Russian story is that, that was, it was an onboard fire. This was not sunk due to enemy fire here. When you hear state TV really calling for blood, in response here, it, it seems that uh, should we expect the official story to change on this, that, that Russia will grant this was a loss in the war? You never know. But mm -hmm. uh, right now, I'd say, Jim, state of play is that a lot of Russian propaganda is internally contradictory. So you heard that man uh, kind of slightly deranged uh, approach. And I'm serious. I've watched that video a lot of him. Um, the, even the state media don't seem to be buying the official story. Hence, you had in that show and in another one, uh, this uh, person who said, well, the Ukrainians were hunting that ship. It was planned in advance. And now, of course, if it was the Ukrainians, that's not the party line. And then the other part is it is highly humiliating for the Russians to admit that the Ukrainians could have done this. So then the narrative immediately shifts to, it must have been NATO, it must have been the United States. And mm. that's where it always all goes back to the United States. Mm. That, I want to get to that point because it speaks to the potential escalation here. But before we do, General Clark, the Moskva, the, the, this was an air defense cruiser. I mean, it, it's supposed to provide air defense for the Black Sea Fleet. But, but apparently its own missile defenses could not protect itself. I, I wonder how significant uh, a revelation that is, right, for just how advanced the Russian Navy is. Well, it's a good question, Jim, because uh, uh, you would think that they could handle this. Now, they were apparently distracted by a Ukrainian drone overhead mm -hmm. and um, a ship that can't defend itself against more than one threat at a time is a ship that's extremely vulnerable. Normally, a ship like this would operate in a formation, so there'd be multiple ships working together. Possibly the Russians are a little bit uh, lax on keeping their guard up. They may not have the right kind of training and drills with this ship, but whatever reason, uh, it really speaks highly to the Ukrainians' ability to target and, and build a system like Neptune, which went out and, and took that ship down. Yeah. Jill, so... so question here, and, and we hear that on state TV, and, and you start to hear it from statements and demarches from the Russians, taking aim not just at Ukraine, but NATO, at NATO arming Ukraine here, uh, and then state TV talking about revenge, right, exacting revenge. I, I wonder, do, do you fear that Russia, in the propaganda, in the demarches, is beginning to build a case for striking at least U.S. NATO weapons convoys, if not actual NATO military targets? I definitely think there are indications of that. You know, some of this, like Russian TV, even though these talk shows seem kind of crazy, they're used with as trial balloons. And one person will say something, and the, the Kremlin is constantly polling and looking at how people react to these shows. And they could release a little trial balloon about NATO, and then it could grow and then be repeated. So I think there is a kernel of truth in what you're saying. I don't know where that's going to go, uh, but, but, but it could develop in that way. In other words, it could go, as one man on another show, I think it was the same person, said, what are we fighting again? What's it called? You know, and they had to remind him, special military operation. But, but the thing is, it is a war. But if Russia defines it as a war, 
then we're in a very big step forward. And if it's a war, then you could make that you know leap to NATO. So we don't know where this is going, but there are into some indications. Yeah, it could, could be you know, a whole host of things, including a national draft there. And then you're talking about much more military personnel. I wonder, General Clark, on the battlefield, what does the loss of the flagship mean for Russia in terms of next military steps? Because there's been a great deal of concern on the U.S. and Ukrainian side about a seaborne assault on Odessa. But, but if your flagship can't even stay above water right, uh, right now off the coast of Ukraine, is that off the table for now? I wouldn't think it's totally off the table, no. Mm. But I do think that they are uh, concerned because there are obviously are strong defenses around Odessa. And so, and there, it's not a great area for amphibious assaults. There's not a lot of uh, broad sandy beaches there to get ashore on. So this is a tough uh, target to go after. They know it, uh, and they're probably not ready to take that risk yet. Yeah. Well, and we should note the Moskva was involved in the shelling of Snake Island, another, uh, another encounter, now famous encounter there in the early stages of the war. Uh, Jill Doherty, General Wesley Clark, uh, thanks so much to both of you.